Well, we've got an interesting situation here for filming today. We are standing out in the rain, and it just makes me think about our topic here, Phytophthora root rot, and a lot of people think, oh, once that seed gets out of the ground, we're safe from Phytophthora, but that's not true. Well, the other thing that people mistakenly believe is, hey, I have a Phytophthora resistance gene in my soybean plant. Maybe it's an A gene or a 1C gene or or even the new 3A gene. You know, there are a lot of different genes that are out there and we're starting to see soybeans with stacked genes too. Why would we have to stack genes? Well, the reason why is there is resistance by certain races of Phytophthora to one gene or the next. Now, if you look back in time, I remember uh, when we had the 1A gene in soybean varieties in our farm, we thought, wow, that is great. And then the C gene came out and we thought that is even better. Well, why was it better? Because there were certain races that were getting through that A gene that the C gene now picked up. Then I remember the K gene was just dominant. And I remember Asgro brand had the K gene. Uh, it was the first one that I remember in our maturity zone. And so we'd see all these Asgro lines that had K gene and, and Stein had a lot of K genes. And, and all of a sudden we had uh, this explosion that, well, I have to have a K gene because that fits the races in my area. Now all of a sudden we've got race 25 becoming really prevalent in the upper Midwest, which the K gene doesn't get, neither does the C gene or the A gene. So we've gone to the RPS3 A gene. Well, okay, I probably bored you with all these numbers and letters. The point is, it's just like many other things in farming. Hey, as mother nature adapts, we change what we're doing. And yes, these resistance genes are nice, but guess what? We're still seeing soybeans die mid-season in some of these fields because, well, there's another race of Phytophthora that got around what we used for protection. So I know Brian's going to get into this because there is one solution for Phytophthora. Let's just eliminate the disease from the field. Well, I don't think there's a solution 100% to almost anything in agriculture, but if you were going to do something in your field that could help solve this problem in a big way, the number one answer is typically drain tile. Fix your drainage issue. If you have drier soil, you are absolutely going to have less chance for many of the diseases like Phytophthora. Now certainly you can go out there with a seed treatment too, and we suggest that in almost all cases as inexpensive as seed treatment is. But the whole thing is with the drainage, what we're trying to accomplish is get that water table down and make sure that we've got good growing conditions in that root zone. And when you have those good growing conditions, you have more oxygen, you have less chance for Phytophthora. Okay, so a lot of times with Phytophthora, what we see is we get an infection into the plant, but it doesn't necessarily show up right away. And a lot of times it ends up being mid-season. Maybe we get to reproduction. There's a lot of stress on the plant as it's trying to, to make seed and has all these flowers and everything. And at that point, we don't have perfect weather and it's just, a, it's the perfect storm. We end up with a plant that is big, tall, looks great, and all of a sudden it's wilting and a few days later it's dead. And you may see a hundred plants in a row and you've got one or two or three plants out of the hundred that die. And you say, well, wait a second, why is that? Why, why isn't it just three plants in a row or maybe a hundred plants in a row and then we're good for a while, we just have a little patch. It's not like that with Phytophthora. Many times you're just gonna see a plant here and a plant there that All drop right, but, he, but here's the problem, Darren. How are farmers going to figure this out? How are they gonna figure out that it's actually Phytophthora and just Phytophthora because rarely it's only one thing happening. What do you suggest that they do? Well, the big thing is to get out and do some scouting, number one, to even find out that you have a problem. I, I remember back probably five or six years ago, I was in a field and it was actually a seed production field. And I was talking to this farmer that I'd worked with for many years and, and he said, oh, you have to go look at that uh, south quarter of mine. I've got some seed production on there for a seed company. That's going to be the number. I tell you what, it looks fantastic. And so I went out there and I started walking and I literally got 20 feet in off of the end rows on the field. And I called him up on the cell phone and I said, Steve, you got to come down here. You got a problem. He's like, you're kidding me, right? And I said, no, there's a plant here and there that's completely dying. And he was just perplexed by this. He said, man, is there a bug out there or what is it? Well, it, we pulled some of the plants, we sent them into the university just to make sure, and, and sure enough, it was Phytophthora. And that's really what I'm getting at. You've got to send plants in for analysis if you're not sure. So let's say you have a poor, poorly drained area 
even if you have that seed treatment, like I talked about a little bit ago, it's still possible to get Phytophthora, but it's certainly less likely that you'll have Phytophthora if you use a good seed treatment. So there are many different fungicide products out there, and a lot of them are good. So people ask us all the time, well, which one is better on the Phytophthora? And we say all the time, look, there's not that much difference between the products. There's an enormous difference between using any of the seed treatments and using nothing. A lot of the newer products out there today are com have combinations in there. So there might be two or three fungicides. And that's typically what we're doing on our own farm, I know. We've got two or three fungicides in that seed treatment package that actually have activity on Phytophthora. So we're in a lot better shape than we used to be, but without good drainage, it's still not going to be perfect. Well, Phytophthora root rot is a major issue in soybean fields across the country. It's important that you get out and scout mid-season to see what you've got. Early season scouting important too, but, but here we are in the middle of the growing season. It's still important to keep an eye on your fields. If you see some problems uh, and you're not sure what they are, take some plants, send them in for analysis to be sure. And one other thing you want to watch out for in your fields is our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?